On today's video, we're going to cover the book UX Bytes, which is a great book if you're a designer looking to get into UX design. Everybody, what's up? So last week I got this book in the mail, UX Bytes. Gabriel, the author uh, who runs the Instagram community, UX Bytes, sent this over, and uh, I got to read it over the weekend, which I I actually really enjoyed. It took me like a couple of hours to go through this, and so I wanted to review this. Um, he's not paying me or anything. Obviously, he sent me the book, so I just thought like, how would I make this? Kind of like authentic um, and not just like oh, go get this book because he's a friend and everything um, so what I really think though at the end of the day I think this is a really great book if you're looking to get started in UX design and you're like overwhelmed with all the content that there's out there because there is just so many things that you need to know right now from tools methodologies processes you know there's so many terms going around that it can be a little bit overwhelming to get into ux design these days and as the, as the time goes by and every year there's uh, every month maybe there's a new methodology and a new process that you need to know agile lean process design sprint everything is like getting overwhelming this is a great way to kind of cover and overview everything that's going on right now what you need to know and then from this you know you can deep dive and learn and expand your knowledge so if you're a designer who wants to get started overwhelmed with what's going on right now this is a really quick book that will help you get an overview of all the terms all the methodologies and actual practical tips for UX design. I think this is really cool. I think it's really cool that Gabriel actually does that. I think as a designer, it's really, um, he proved that he can start um, a really cool community on Instagram. Now he's taking it into a book, which I think is a great um, exercise in, in personal branding and turning value from one platform to another platform. So I think it's it's really, really cool to see how he've, he's adopted that uh, content into a book, which I think really shows that, you know, different content and different medium works really differently. Um, so I think this is a really, really cool exercise. Thank you, Gabriel, for sending us over. Um, it's been really valuable and I'm going to probably share it with other designers here in the office. So thank you so much for this. If you guys got the chance to read it, Actually, he didn't send me a link or anything, so I'll, I'll ask him for a link to get this book because I don't even know where you can get this book, but probably he'll send me a link or something like that. If you got it, if you got some um, recommendation or feedback, or let me know what you thought about this in the comments below. I'll see you on the next video.